Okay, this video here is going to show you how to set up your MacBook Pro so that when you are printing copies from your classroom and you're printing to these new Xerox copiers that you can secure print, you can staple, you can three-hole punch, and you can print front to back. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the copier to do so. The first thing to do is go to System Preferences right here. Click on that icon and a box will pop up which basically will have a bunch of icons on it and the one that you're looking for is going to be the print icon, print and scan icon right here. So I click on that and another box will pop up and it will be a listing of all my current printers. Now these are all Xerox printers and I can tell these are some of the new ones. I'm going to go ahead and set up the one here titled WC underscore resource underscore library. Yours may be Avery underscore office, East underscore office, East underscore media, West underscore media, something like that. Highlight the copier that you're wanting to set up so that you can staple to. Click on Options and Supplies. Then click the word Driver. Now, this is the way the screen should look when we're all done. So the first thing to do is change this if it's not set, change it to five trays. The finisher output tray, choose high volume finisher with booklet maker. The hole punch unit, click installed. Now, if this wasn't selected to high volume finisher with booklet maker, this may not, you may not have a choice to install that, so make sure it's changed. The PPI post process inserter, go ahead and click installed. LAN fax, click installed, and job storage enabled. The Z fold, C fold unit, we do not have those on these, so you can leave that as not installed. Once you have those selected, click OK, and then close the print and scan dialog box. Now, I am going to find a document um, that I can print and scan to. Uh, fairly lengthy document, so I'm not going to actually run this, but so this is the document I would like to make multiple copies of. I would like it stapled, and I would like it three-hole punched, as well as printing front to back. Go to File, Print, Now, if you chose to do a Word document or an Excel document, the screen here may look a little bit different. It's probably going to look like the next screen we get to. But if this is the screen that it looks like, what I want you to do is choose which one of these printers you're going to go to, which I'm going to choose the one I set up. And then down at the bottom, click Printer. Now, if you're choosing to print off something different, such as Excel, Word, this may be the first page you come to. And in that case, make sure you have the click printer, and then put in how many copies you're going to want to make. In order to do the stapling, the three-hole punching, the two-sided, and all that, click right here where it says Layout, and pull down to Xerox features. Now, what I'm going to show you real quick is secure print. First of all, I sent out instructions on how to do this. You can choose secure print, which if I choose this, it's going to ask me to put in my four to ten digit code. And I can do that and click OK.
What this is going to do is this document will not print until I come up to the printer, click on the button job statuses, find my job under secure prints, punch in my code, and then it will print off. The two-sided printing, this is where I can tell it to two-sided print, so it's going to print front to back. The finishing, this is where I can choose one staple in the upper left-hand corner. I could do two staples, bottom and top, and I could do multiple staples. Okay, Obviously, I'm just going to do one staples. Just keep in mind the staples are very expensive, so if you can just get away with one, that would be fine. I'm also going to hole punch this because I'm going to probably put it in a three ring binder. Now, once I get those selected, I would click print. Now, keep in mind, I did the secure print here. Okay, normally, you would just do the normal print, print, and then when you show up at the copier, your stuff would be there. Please uh, feel free to go back into this video and review any of the processes uh, that I had set up should be able to print two-sided staple hole punch and secure print from your Mac.